within this video, I'll go through everything that happened within this week's developer stream where I do the watching so you don't have to. Stay tuned. This week, Joe Nate was the host joined by the player communications assistant. In the brig, they had game designer Steve Dillon and the special guest was Freyline. John was absent from the stream due to being sick. The theme was to complete a rum runner's voyage again. And in terms of success, they managed to get the final voyage completed, but sadly got obliterated at the outpost by two different crews when they tried to hand in their loot. The will of other players emotion was spun four times. Robo challenge, robo challenge again that got respun to the chat decides and the chat decided sea of teas robo challenge for a third time which was respun to sink ship and finally a giveaway so once all the introductions were done and the theme of the stream explained they set on the mission before i continue i do want to say that this video contains spoilers about the upcoming patch on the 30th of april so if you're trying to avoid spoilers mute whenever you see this symbol as it has been spoken about by the developers during the stream i believe i'm not breaking any in NDA and discussing it as it's something that they've already spoken about. So during this week's stream there were a lot of questions including will we get scooters which Joe said they had never thought about and it was joked about a couple of times later through the stream where it would have come in handy. Did they release everything or is there more to come? We were told that that wasn't everything included in the trailer. Another trailer will be released later on the 23rd of April revealing more about Tall Tales. Will we get banjos? This has been asked in a previous stream. They said that they want to do this However, they have to figure out how to go about doing this without overpopulating the game with data. How long will the current Reaper mission be in game for until the 30th of April update? Was there a delay with pets? Yes, there was. They wanted to have pets ready to be released on the anniversary. However, they felt they weren't ready as yet. Joe did say that they were available to be tested within the Insider program and have been monitoring feedback from players and they'll release them when they're ready. Personally, I feel that this ethos of in their game development has been amazing in that they'd rather err on the side of caution in releasing something when it's ready rather than when an arbitrary deadline tells them to, which is great. Can we attach our boats to another one with harpoons? Joe sarcastically answered with what do you think would happen when you throw a metal spear at a wooden object? Later in the stream, Joe mentioned that the harpoon has multiple uses, including comical, practical, and unusual. They were again asked about changing the ship size and we got the same answer as last time. They want to, but it's a lot more difficult than simply remove ship A and replace with ship B. The guest asked whether or not it was intentional that the chest of sorrows is filling up a ship whilst it's in a detached rowboat, to which we got told it wasn't intentional and it was the first they've heard about. Now this is something that has personally happened to me and I'd never thought about bringing it up to the devs attention so we as a community need to be more vocal in letting Rare know when something is broken so that they can fix it. They were also asked what feature will change the game completely in the upcoming patch. Joe answered so many, specifically the harpoon and told tales will introduce a totally new way of playing the game, describing it as a storyline in a shared world. He also spoke about how these things are all on the insider program at the moment. So if you want to be a part of shaping the community and how it goes, download the insider program and provide your feedback. Joe read out a question about private servers, another question they'd been asked in the past. This time they said that they're aware that it's something the community wants and currently don't know how to go about implementing it but they do want to add this as an option. There was a question about whether or not we'll get another trailer or if that was it. Joe said that there is more coming specifically for Tall Tales. The, the little snippets we got in the anniversary trailer were taken from the upcoming Tall Tales trailer due to be released later on. They were asked will there be more achievements added to the game? If so, how many? Joe said yes there will be many. Someone from the chat asked about whether or not there will be new rewards for Tall Tales. Both Joe and V looked at each other with these beaming smiles on their faces. Joe says, hmm, interesting. So they didn't actually say yes, but strongly hinted at this being the case. Someone asked who the pirate is at the top of the spa in the trailer. Joe laughed saying that someone did actually notice and he was surprised about this, but he basically said, yes, there is someone there. No, they don't really mean anything in particular. It was just for a laugh. Will they be attending TwitchCon EU? And if yes, will they reveal anything? Yes, they'll be attending and possibly releasing something. They were asked whether or not they have to work in game 
team in order to get their money or is it given to them by the development team to which Joe said that they have to work for it like we do. The final question read out was whether or not Joe would have someone's babies and does he want Doritos to which Joe jokingly replied the answer is yes to one of those. There weren't any other spoilers however in terms of news we were told that the current Reaper's Run voyage ends on the 30th as I mentioned earlier so we have plenty of time to obtain those commendations. Additionally we were told that the one year cosmetics should be distributed to everybody so if you don't have yours yet create a support ticket. There are a couple of discussions about how they've got press coming next week to review the work that they've done so it'll be interesting to see what little bits of information we get revealed over the upcoming weeks. Joe also quickly touched on the sustainability of the development team being his next major focus as the last few months have been quite intense for them. They want to release the same caliber of content but they also don't want their staff to experience burnout. They also discussed comparing the stress levels and excitement of launch versus the upcoming mega update release. I've got a rundown on my website if you're interested in these in particular. Head to my website for a timestamp. Joe asked Freyline what she would like added to the game. She said that she'd love to have something like a coconut grenade that you can take onto the ship to do one hole's damage as well as another method of getting on board aside from the ladder. As a quick rundown of the stream, Freyline asked if they prefer to drop the anchor or leave it up and come to a natural stop to prevent server merge. None of the devs seem to care either way. V rescued Steve from his woeful attempts to bring a rowboat on board. However, Steve later redeemed himself with a pretty slick move when he one-shot the pirate from the first sloop that they came across, which led to them scuttling the ship. Later, during the Reaper missions, they got two chests of sorrows from the same treasure map which led to some pretty interesting shenanigans at one point resulting in Steve ferociously barreling out like a pro. At another point during some PvP Steve jumps off the front mast of the brig over to the other ship. It looked fabulous but sadly died on the other ship shortly thereafter. The group also joked about how it's rumoured that Joe has the godlike power to follow people around and mess with them spawning various skeletons and megs and so forth. However he denied having this power although admitted that if he did he would use it just like that. At the end of the stream they headed to an outpost however there was a sloop there and rather than head to another outpost and turn it in they decided to risk it but were overwhelmed when another brig came and joined in on the fight resulting in their ship sinking. If you're the kind of person who watches the streams because they're the developers and enjoy them engaging with the community or with just good gameplay in general then this will be one that you enjoy. If you like spoilers, insights and insider information you may want to skip this one as there wasn't much in the way of new content for someone who's already inside the insider program. They gave away two codes for the obsidian item sets where you had to guess the one number. As previously mentioned I've got a rundown including timestamps of everything that happened within the stream if you're interested. Head over to my website via a link in the description. Although that was all that was mentioned within the stream that was worth reporting on. And that's all for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Aussie accent. Share the video with your friends so we all stay up to date. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hope you're having a lovely day. Till next time.